What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out real reason why WWE draft was awful. Drew McIntyre resigns with the WWE and other wrestling news. This is gonna be a very interesting video. Um, the night one of the draft on SmackDown was um I guess you could say to be desired, man. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I was expecting a little bit more surprises than what we got. Uh, they started off pretty good with uh, having Carmelo Hayes be the third pick in a draft. Um, that was pretty interesting to see and have him have a match. His first match. Uh, I mean, it's not his first match on SmackDown, but to have his, uh, um, I guess you could say, debut match officially being on the SmackDown brand against the, the WWE champion and Cody Rhodes, that was cool. That was surprising. That was kind of, you know, different. And then, you know, it seemed like a lot of the draft picks were more or less people staying on their respective brands that they were already on. So I was expecting a little bit more. And I think a lot of people were. So I don't know. Hopefully there's a little bit more excitement, more surprises for uh, for the raw side of things. Um, but we will see. But uh, appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's just get right into this video, man going on guys it is wrestlemia here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including the real reason that the wwe draft was a huge letdown drew mcintyre finally re-signs with wwe is cm punk actually returning soon could imperium add a new member to the group a wwe star getting a makeover what is happening with Dominic Mysterio and much more? Hmm. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first we look at the real reason the WWE draft was a huge letdown. Our top story today takes a look at a new report which may explain why the WWE draft was very underwhelming. Coming out of night one of the 2024 WWE draft, fans were not happy, and for good reason. WWE cite the draft as being one of the most exciting, unpredictable nights of the calendar year, yet night one of the 2024 draft was a total dud. Only a few wrestlers changed shows, and it was mm -hmm. hard to get excited about wrestlers being drafted to a show that they were already on. Yeah. But in a new report from Fightful Select, they've been told that the notion put forth on TV of retaining familiar talent was important to WWE. The report also notes that more brand switches are likely on Monday, and this extends to NXT talent coming to the main roster. Hopefully, Fightful Select's report comes true, yeah. as WWE still has a chance of saving the draft from being a total disaster. Next yeah. up, Drew McIntyre. We will, we will see. I, 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 I have a better feeling that you know Monday Night Raw's uh, side of things, draft side of things, will be a lot more surprising and and quite different than what we got on SmackDown. But we will see. Finally, resigns with WWE. After months of endless reports and speculation, it's finally been confirmed by The Rock that Drew McIntyre has resigned with WWE. Taken to his official Instagram page, the final boss put up this video. Mm -hmm, I saw it. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Man of my word, as you're a man mm. of yours, congratulations, Drew McIntyre, on signing your new WWE deal. As we talked about after WrestleMania match, I know this Scottish Claymore represents everything that you, your family, and your country embody. Alba Gubra. As you know, I wanted to personally hand deliver this gift to you at your meeting with Nick Khan, but I had warm cheat meals and chilled tequila waiting for me. Congrats again, <laughs> brother, and cheers to hunger, passion, climbing that mountain, and always entertaining our fans. According to Fight for Select, this new contract is a multi-year deal for big money. Mm -hmm. So congrats to Drew McIntyre on re-signing with the WWE. He deserves it. And that was pretty cool that, you know, The Rock had a conversation with him and gave him that sword. You know, that, that was pretty tough that he actually did that um, uh, man of his word. And he's really playing up to that final boss like moniker, like that title. He's playing up to it, you know, with probably some real stuff that's happening behind the scenes that we don't even know about it but the guy deserves all the he deserves all the money that he's worth man drew mcintyre right now has been doing 
some of, if not his best work in WWE. Seriously, he's killing it. They are letting this guy be himself, be free. Like, it's it's really fantastic. I love what they're doing with Drew. Eventually, he will, at some point, be the world champion and maybe have a lengthy title reign, and we may see that happen at Clash at the Castle. Because I'm telling you this right now. He was over at the last class at the Castle. There's, he's going to be even more over at this year's Clash at the Castle. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't think we had Clash at the Castle last year. I think it was the year before last. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think we actually had one last year. I could be wrong on that. But either way, I'm looking forward to them going back over there. And that crowd experience was amazing. When they see Drew out there, whatever situation he's going to be in, whatever match he's going to be in, the crowd is going to go crazy because the guy's killing it. He's killing it right now. He's like damn near a fan favorite for a lot of people. He's he's knocking it out the party and he deserves every dime of the money that they, you know, extended to give to him. He, he's, he deserves it. Whatever the number is, he deserves it. Are you guys happy that he re-signed? Hell Let us yeah. Know in the comments down below. Next up is Cody Rhodes injured. Now this Undisputed one. Undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rhodes had an unfortunate landing during his match with Carmelo Hayes on SmackDown. It looked like Rhodes may have injured his shoulder. In the first report since his match, Fightful Selective offered an update which reads, Speaking of the main event, we reached out to Cody Rhodes to ask if he was okay, and he said always, but it isn't exactly a definitive update. Hopefully Rhodes is indeed okay. He said to main event backlash next weekend against AJ Styles and an injury to Rhodes could be catastrophic for yes. WWE. Next up is CM. I hope he is. I hope he is. He seemed like he may have got a stinger out there, but I hope he is. Jeez, bro. WWE cannot afford for him, of all people, to get hurt. They cannot afford that. I'm sure they will have to, you know, scramble and, and figure out something, but hopefully he is you know hopefully they got him resting up for the most part until backlash um but we will see punk returning soon now there was some confusion surrounding cm punk this week on smackdown punk was advertised to appear on the show mm -hmm. and he was even the cover star for all promotional material now it turned out that punk appeared for a post-show promo and in punk's promo punk gave an injury update and stated that his triceps still aren't 100 percent i want to give a little update my triceps is not 100 percent yet but I'm on track and I promise soon I will be back and competing with all the tough badasses backstage. Footage of Punk's promo has been circulating across social media and even got interrupted by Chad Gable. Mm. Is this a hint of a feud for Punk when he's cleared? Punk versus Gable would certainly be a fresh matchup for WWE to explore. Yeah. It was reported a few months ago that Punk is looking at a summer time frame when it comes to his return. SummerSlam is surely an ideal target both for WWE and Punk, and if Punk manages to get cleared for SummerSlam, then the ideal and most logical match for Punk is a 1v1 showdown with Drew McIntyre. Bro. <laughs> SummerSlam is shaping up to be massive, bro. I mean massive. The Rock is supposed to be returning and most likely probably will be feuding with Cody Rhodes. Maybe Roman returns around that time as well. CM Punk returns, have their feud. Uh, well, their feud is still kind of going on right now with uh, him and Drew McIntyre. But, you know, if you give Drew McIntyre some momentum before CM Punk returns, you know that's going to be a fire match. Uh, I believe Logan Paul uh, most likely is going to have his match at uh, this year's SummerSlam. And I need it to be LA night. I hope it's LA night in some capacity you know I, I think that would be uh that would be pretty great to have la knight versus logan paul uh for the united states championship and actually crown logan paul i mean uh la knight is the new united states championship uh champion SummerSlam is looking it it's looking to be pretty good just off of this alone we don't even know potential other matchups but th the potential card it's looking pretty fire next up did wwe pick the right man to dethrone gunther one of the more shocking moments of wrestlemania 40 this month saw Sami Zayn defeat gunther to become intercontinental champion while Zayn is a top star in wwe nobody anticipated Zayn winning the title yet ultimately it looks to be in both men's best interests 
The Zayn vs Chad Gable feud is red hot, mm -hmm. whilst Gunther looks to move up the card and become the 2024 King of the Ring. Yes. But speaking to Gorilla Position, the ring general himself chimed in on dropping the title and stated that Sami Zayn and Chad Gable were two logical names to take the Intercontinental title from him. Mm. Gunther would then state that Zayn overcoming him was a successful end to his reign. He's fantastic in the ring and has been for years. To do the match with him at the biggest stage possible and go out in the biggest way possible, I was very happy with that. It was a very successful ending to that reign. Next up, could Imperium... And that's coming from the man himself. And obviously, they have bigger and better things for him. They do. The King of the Ring. He's winning King of the Ring. He's winning it. They're setting it up. He's winning it. And the fact that He's announced it. And uh, with Gunther, calling him King Gunther is going to add that extra um, that extra oomph to the King of the Ring, bring back that prestige. I think the last person was obviously Xavier Woods, but they didn't do nothing with that. And that was a letdown. They really didn't do nothing with that. <laughs> with Xavier Woods really, you know, gaining some good momentum off that. They had an opportunity to do something with it with him and Roman Reigns, but he ended up pretty much getting squashed. <laughs> they didn't do much with that like I would have wanted. With Gunther, oh yeah. They're gonna they're gonna set this. This is gonna be the bridge to have him becoming a world champion. Simple as that. I'm all for it. I am all for it. And I know he's gonna put on some banger matches in that tournament. It's gonna be great add a new member a wwe made the bold call to kick giovanni vinci out of imperium this yeah. week on raw fans have been speculating that they may look to add a new villainous member to the popular stable and one idea being thrown around is former mm -hmm. nxt champion Ilya dragunov this would be a solid option for wwe to implement as dragunov and gunther have a ton of established history yet the continuity of the booking move may be brought into question as yeah. dragunov and gunther are supposedly arch rivals Speaking on the Hall of Fame podcast, NXT commentator Booker T stated that he's fully on board with the idea. I'll tell you what man, it'd be a great spot for him, being in that faction right there. He won't get lost in the shuffle or anything like that. He's really, really good. You're going to be looking and see who we can put him with. Him being part of that group right there, you can put him against anybody and he can definitely go out there and shine. No matter who you put him against, because he's going to have backup. So yeah, I can see that happening. That would be a great faction for him to be a part of. It does look like Dragunov is now set for a permanent call-up to the main roster. Mm -hmm. He dropped the NXT title to Trick Williams this week on NXT TV, so it's likely that WWE Creative is coming up with a direction for Dragunov on the main roster. Next and I've up, seen a lot of people say that. The only thing is because of the continuity side, like he just said, of them having history with each other and their legendary back and forth and uh pretty much uh Ilya being one of the guys to beat Gunther in WWE and that was a fantastic match I watched that match it was thinking that was during the pandemic era it's fucking just ridiculous that match was great so if they do it I wouldn't be opposed but it has to they gotta find a way to make it make sense I don't want them to just ignore their history they got to find a way to make it seem as if Ilya has respected what he's done on the main roster and he knows, you know, he knows that, you know, it's going to take, it's going to take some, you know, it's going to take maybe his guidance or his leadership to really find his footing on the main roster, which could help him. Because if he's with Gunther and they see, like the fans, to get more of the the casual fans to buy into Ilya, they could do it to be a bridge to finally, once he gets to that moment where he breaks away from them, then he'll already be established and people will already be, you know, ready to see that Ilya versus Gunther and where they tell that story. So they could do it. They just got to make it make sense on why he's joined up with him, even though they've had a pass. I'm down. If it makes sense and it's, it's uh, a believable situation, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Because it could work. It could benefit him so that way he doesn't get lost in the shuffle immediately because not many people are going to know about him on the main roster. A WWE star getting a makeover? 
Baron Corbin was recalled back up to SmackDown as part of the 2024 oh. draft. But with his NXT run received widespread praise as it okay. saw Corbin deliver some of the finest work of his career. According to Fightful Select, Corbin could be getting a new renewed look ahead of returning to the main roster. The report doesn't add any more details in relation to what this makeover could look like, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll see. As some fans are disappointed that WWE haven't kept Corbin and his NXT partner, Bron Breaker, on the same show. Their pairing in NXT was tremendous, and it would have been a significant boost to the tag division to see them both on the same brand. Yeah, they should have did that. They should have. They should have. If they're going to bring up Baron Corbin, I would have kept him with braun breaker just for a little bit to build up that tag team division because we've seen them on nxt do things in the tag team division and then you could have kind of set something up with a split maybe later down the line i think that would have been nice to do but um we'll see what they have for, have in store for baron corbin it'll be interesting to see what wwe have planned for corbin on the main roster and hopefully he is booked and presented in a manner similar to the way he is on nxt tv Next up, positive Charlotte Flair news. It was announced in late 2023 that Charlotte Flair would be out of action for around nine months with a torn ACL, MCL, and meniscus. Sheesh. Whilst his injuries are no laughing matter, there's a positive update from a fellow WWE star. During an interview with Sports Kida, Charlotte's real life friend Bailey revealed that it looks like she's way ahead of schedule. That's Charlotte, awesome. Charlotte, I've known for so long. I had a first match ever, so I mean, I was just in the position a couple of years ago, and I know how hard it is. I'm excited to have her back, and I know she's itching for it. Oh, yeah. She's way ahead of schedule, it looks like, and I text her all the time like I hate you. How are you <laughs> already doing this? That's how crazy. How are you already doing that? So she's going to be a freaking force when she gets back. Hopefully, it won't be too long before the multi time women's champion is back on screen. Next up. Yeah, the question is, will she be on Raw or will she be on SmackDown? I know we're not the biggest fan of Charlotte Flair's having so many title reigns already, but the one thing we can admit, she puts on great matches. She puts on great matches, so depending on where she goes, it's going to be very interesting. Has WWE changed their recruitment strategy? WWE always likes to change their recruitment strategy for new talent, and it looks like they've done so again. According to The Undertaker on his Six Feet Under podcast, WWE are now looking at signing NFL athletes to contracts. Mm. There's a quote of guys that they're taking from independence, but I'm pretty sure the objective now is to hit these NFL combines, the Big 12 combines, and get these type athletes. And they do have open workouts too. They had one in Australia when we were over there a month or so ago for Elimination Chamber Perth. It's a lot different. It's another layer of the evolution of the product and the athletes. Mm. Some of the greatest wrestlers of all time have played in the NFL, including Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. So this isn't exactly the worst recruitment strategy WWE yeah. could be implementing. And finally, what's happening with Dominic Mysterio? Our final story today takes a look at an injury update regarding Dominic Mysterio. On Friday, Mysterio shut down a report that he was requiring surgery. Meltzer on Wrestling okay. Observer Radio has offered an updated report on the matter, and according to Meltzer, Mysterio will be going through physical therapy as opposed to surgery. That's good. Best of luck to Mysterio, and we wish him a speedy recovery. For sure. But there you have it, folks. For sure. Wishing him a speedy recovery, man. If the fact he doesn't have to go under the knife, that's awesome. Physical therapy, get everything situated without actually having to go under the knife makes the recovery process a little bit more smoother, man. So I'm wishing him a speedy recovery for sure. But comment down below let me know man do you guys think monday night raw side of the draft is going to be better than smackdown i'm 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 going to give them a benefit of the doubt i think it will i think we're going to have some more surprises so but i appreciate all the love support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see you on the next one peace